Welcome back to another episode of Tabletop That. So uh, what I was thinking about doing this week is a comparison between a 3D printed set of columns and some columns that were crafted out of foam. And as you can see here, I'm going to start with the foam columns. Basically, whenever you're starting with foam, it usually starts with shaping the foam into whatever you're building. In this case, I'm going to try to build some columns that are for a cave system for an upcoming game. And I'm thinking maybe the columns would be like a stalagmite and stalactite that have grown together. That's what I'm working on here, and I'm just carving it out. And then after I'm done with the carving, the next step is to Mod Podge it. So Mod Podge is this wonderful, heavy, glue-like substance. Um, it's better than Elmer's glue, and it just gives a layer of protection. And what I do with a Mod Podge is, so I have a base coating, at the same time I'm protecting it, I do a, uh, a little bit of black paint in there. I got this from Jeremy over at Black Magic Craft, got the idea from him. So that's what that's all about. After I'm done applying the Mod Podge, I just uh, liberally apply a base coat of gray. And I don't worry too terribly much if some of the black is showing through. Usually the black showing through on the lowest layer, so it's like the shadows of the, of the stone. After that, I do some dry brushing. I usually do two layers of dry brushing. Here I do a light gray over the dark gray, and then I'll do a second dry brush uh, of white. It makes it almost look like a gravel. It's sort of like a cartoony look. I could apply a black wash after I'm done with the dry brushing, but I sort of like the uh, bright cartoony look of these columns, so I'm gonna leave it just with, uh, with a couple of coats of dry brushing. And we're almost done with the dry brushing. I'm taking my time here, making sure I hit all of the high spots. And there you go, we got Craig the Ogre. He's just hanging out there beside the columns. So now we're gonna move on to see what 3D printed columns look like. The very first thing I do after they've been printed and cured is I apply some primer to them. Um, in this case, some gray primer. And the only important thing here with the gray primer is to make sure you cover the entire model. Get the tops and the bottoms, and then after this, you'll be applying your base coat. Now, the difference between uh, the paints you use here is I'm using miniature paints made by Vallejo. They're a little bit more expensive uh, than paints that I use for the foam, which is just basic acrylic craft paint you can find at Michael's for about 75 cents, you know, uh, for a container of it. This black paint um, I used, it ended up being really glossy. So it almost looks like onyx here with this base coat. And this stuff dries pretty quickly too when you compare it to the uh, Craft Smart style acrylic paint, which means you can get through uh, painting this pretty quickly because it doesn't take long for it to dry. I'm applying a dry brush, which is very similar to the same process I used with the foam. So the techniques are very similar, if not identical. The only difference is the the uh, the paint thickness is different. So it's I'm still learning the miniature painting stuff. So yeah, uh, it could probably use a little bit more watering down. There I was showing you that I'm picking up uh, white for the final coat. So I went from black to a gray to a white. So the dry brush was actually a gray dry brush and a white dry brush and just leaving the black as the base coat. I would probably do this differently um, if I did it again.
The other thing is these printed out pretty small. This is the default size that they came in from Thingiverse. Not a big deal. What I ended up doing is painting a second set, which I didn't have time to paint for this episode. There they are. See how much smaller those are compared to the foam ones. And they turn out fine. Um, if you want these files, you can go pick it up over at Thingiverse, or the, this one file over at Thingiverse. Um, you just type in columns in the search, and it should be the first item that comes up, these Gloomhaven columns. And you can see them there. And these are, there, there's an example of them already painted. And the ones I do are in resin, but you could do them in uh, filament. A couple pictures there showing them by uh, a miniature. Now I went ahead and printed out some larger ones, which you'll see here. They're not painted, but they're almost as tall as the foam ones. And there they are side by side. All in all, I have to say that. Um, I like both of them. I like the resin columns and I like the foam columns. If you have a resin printer, um, you know, you can print out quite a few of them, probably relatively quickly. But the foam doesn't take that long and it's a lot cheaper um, because you don't have to buy the printer and then the alcohol bath for it and all the gloves and all that kind of stuff because the resin stuff can get a little expensive. Anyway, at the end of the day, I'd say go with whichever one suits your style and your pocketbook. I actually like the foam ones better myself. Maybe it's just because um, I enjoy the crafting things. Anyway, uh, I know it's short this week, but I hope you got something out of it. Leave some comments down below. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't. If you hit the notification bell. Uh, you'll be informed when I have new material coming out. And until next week, have fun and keep crafting. Later.